Hi guys, uh, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. Uh, guys, in this video, we'll uh, we'll see and a troubleshooting uh, ticket which we need to troubleshoot. And here is a diagram on your screen. We have two routers, uh, router R1 and router R2. And uh, the issue here is that we're not able to ping uh, PC2 from PC1 and vice versa. Uh, again, the IPsec uh, tunnels, uh, they're having some issues. So we have to check that also. So what we'll do is we'll first check what exactly is the issue with the APC uh, with the router 1 IPsec tunnel. So the command to check the phase 1 tunnel is show crypto SICM SA and you will see that there is no phase 1 tunnel yet formed. Uh, phase 1 tunnel is not formed so of course phase 2 tunnel won't be formed. So uh, let's initiate some traffic from PC1 to PC2 and check whether uh, we are able to ping it or not. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take on PC1 and I'll ping uh, 20.0.0.100 which is uh, which is PC2 and you can check we're not able to ping it here is the problem uh, so let's check on R1 is any tunnel session formed or not yes as you can see here that uh, this is the session which is formed currently active this is the phase one session phase one session is getting is is getting formed you can see here the destination which is r2 and this is the source that is r1 but you can see we are not able to ping and now this is interesting that we are not able to ping. what i'll do is i'll keep in continuous ping so that uh we'll come to know we are not at ping but phase one is getting formed let's check if we are seeing some traffic in phase two so this is what the command for phase 2 uh, show crypto IPsec so here you can see guys that there is no packets which are getting encrypted or decrypted over here uh, so what would be an issue with this so what we'll do is uh, we also try to initiate some traffic from PC2 and check whether uh, we are forming that tunnel or not. We have, let's check on R2 first of all, any tunnel is formed or not. Of course, some tunnel will be formed. Phase 1 tunnel is formed. Here is the one which was deleted. I configured it. So I deleted that. So this is the one which is currently active. So yes, it is active. But let's check on phase 2. And here is, here is the output that is the thing. Uh, if the tunnel is formed, uh, phase one tunnel is formed and phase two tunnel is formed, uh, then you'll of course see some, some packets which are encrypted and decrypted here. But here you can see there's no encryption done over here. So what will be an issue? How to troubleshoot this issue? Uh, the one way to troubleshoot the issue is to check the configuration uh, and to check for some, some, some logs or some errors which are coming coming on the routers or not we we'll just check the locks this is router r1 let's check some locks whether you're able to see some locks we're not able to see some locks here well, let's just check on r2 any errors or something like that check some some error is coming on r2 here uh, this is the error which is coming that is crypto 6 i camp mode failure processing of quick mode field with peer at uh, appear at uh, this that is this is r1 so this is something which is uh, this is the error which is coming and uh, that is crypto 6 more failure so to troubleshoot this particular error or uh, to troubleshoot this issue uh, we will check have a look at our configuration part so guys i will always tell that uh, you know whenever you are whenever you are checking for ipsec uh, tunnel its configuration use this command show crypto map and this is the crypto map which is used that is tech map and here also i'll issue the same command show crypto sorry show crypto map okay so what i'll do is i'll copy this because i need to check it very well so i'll copy this in a notepad this is how I actually do this stuff. So this is for R2. And let's check for R1 as well. And 
and this is for R1. So this is what we currently have with us. Okay, so now as you can say the uh, crypto map names uh, on R2 it is tech map and on R1 it is again tech map. But again uh, this crypto map names are uh, local to the router, so uh, this doesn't make any difference. Uh, pure IP which I have configured on R2 is 12.0.0.1 and here it is 0.0.0.2 that is of R1. So let's check whether R1 have this IP address or not. It is 12.0.0.1. So what I'll do is show IP int brief. Yeah, it have a correct pure IP. It have a correct pure IP. That is the reason why I phase one is forming. But we need to troubleshoot why phase two is not forming. Again, I'll check and verify on R2 as well. So IP int uh, brief. Yes, it is again a correct IP address serial zero, what we are using. So that is not the concern. Uh, the thing other that we can check here is the access list. Now here in access list, what we do normally is we uh, we are using this access list to define the interesting traffic. Guys, uh, if you have watched my videos on IPsec VPN, um, you will know that uh, interesting traffic is the traffic which is meant to transfer from the a tunnel uh, so let's check what is this access list so I've configured access list on R2 has uh, 100 and this is the uh, source IP address and this is the destination IP address and R1 also you can check I have configured and the same access list that is 100 again this access list names numbers are local to the router so it won't make any difference but this entries do make more and more difference so here you can see the access list permit and here is the source and here is the destination. So when I'm putting this in, in, in R1, the source is 10 network and the destination is 20 network. And when I'm putting in R2, again you can see guys, I've put the source as the 10 network and the destination is 20 network. But you can check in the diagram or here in the router also, uh, this is the source that is the 20 network is the source and the destination should be the 10 network because uh, because you can check here here is the uh, LAN network which is there on this router so that is 20 network so here is a mistake which, which I found out is in the access list so let's check or let's change the access list let's check the access list first of all what is the access list uh, access list 100 and you can find this entry uh, which is wrong extended 100 and I'll do simply do no 10 so this entry will go and I'll put another entry uh, but here this putting this entry it should be like uh, permit IP 20.0.0.0.0.0.0.255 because submit marks is slash 24 uh, it's 255 no let us check the access list now show IP access list 100 so so this is the access list now uh, is the traffic still initiated and guys you can see immediately over here I am getting this ping response now okay I am even getting the matches on this access list so here is how we have troubleshooted this I think so yeah we have troubleshooted it uh, let's check the crypto session uh, let's check the phase one this is a phase one which is getting formed that is good and let's check the phase two session also the command to check phase two is show crypto ipsec sa and here guys you can see the packets which are encrypted and decrypted here here are the packets for which we got the uh, failure um, and here are the packets which are getting encapsulated uh, decapsulated, uh, de encrypted and decrypted. Uh, this is MD5. This is verified. So this is all the packets which we are currently getting on, and we are able to ping it. So guys, in this way, uh, what 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 we saw that we use this particular output, uh, this two particular, we started comparing the con the, the configurational part because we saw that the data was uh, not getting encrypted, decrypted. Because in phase one was coming up, phase one was coming up because all the parameters, negotiation parameters for phase one were okay, and that is why it was coming up. But there was an issue with the uh, with the interesting traffic defined ACL. That is why the data was not currently 
correctly uh, uh, actually leaving it so we are not able to see any packets which were decrypting or encrypting on phase two so guys uh, in this way you can troubleshoot you can do a lot of stuff on this one i'll come up with more uh, troubleshooting of videos for ipsec vpn uh, so i'll stop here in this video catch you in the next video thank you